presented by <laughs> Kia. The morning tip, David Aldridge on the development of the SportView technology and his interview with the Pacers' Paul George. Check it out on DA's morning tip on <laughs> NBA.com. Yeah, it was a bonehead play on my on my behalf. Uh, I think Woody was yelling at Ray to, to tell us don't foul, don't foul. Uh, I didn't hear it. We didn't, you know, he didn't tell us, but that was a bonehead play on my behalf. My thoughts don't mean anything at this point in time. It really doesn't matter right now uh, for me to say whether I, you know, I thought it was a good call or not. So therefore, we move on from that. There's no need for me to keep harping on that. Have you, you seen the replay? Play? Yeah, I've seen it multiple times. Uh, I don't want to see it again, though. Are you surprised they didn't at least review it, though? Yeah, I think it was under two minutes. Uh, so they, you know, they, they said they couldn't review it. Uh, but, you know, they didn't make the call. It's over, and we move on. Oh, but next, you're going to hear from the uh, NBA oh. TV crew, the oh. starters. I don't think you could have got a jelly glazed donut under your feet then. <laughs> Thanks, Ernie. You know, on Shaq and a Fool, you guys do a great job of highlighting some of the strangest on-the-court moments, but we think some of the best stuff happens up in the stands, courtesy of the fans. Yeah, that's why we've compiled our favorite top 10 off-court moments from the first couple weeks of the season. Let's get her started. We've got some great ones at number 10. This lady just wants some camera time. Oh, this is my chance. This is my chance. And I get to show off my blueberry beret. There she is. We see you. Yeah. Jumping in between there. Yeah, we definitely saw you at number nine. It is the saddest Knicks dad you know. You'd be sad, too, if Andrea Bargnani was your starting son. Yeah, Sunday, Knicks getting killed by the Spurs. He's just angry. Spent $20 on those nachos for his son. And yeah, we got Dwayne Wade here at number eight going into the stands, sharing a little moment with a female fan. He waits there an extra couple oh. seconds. He could have got up and checked the smile. Whoa, wee, whoa, what a moment. Gentle arms, please. Gonna tell Peter about that one later. Oh, moms <laughs> love D-Way. They love him. All right, number seven. It's a dog. Yeah, there's a dog sitting courtside. Oh, man. Polo. That's Polo. The therapy dog. <laughs> Getting great seats. Good boy. At number six, Marvin, Steve. Oh, these, there's one, two, three. These guys had to plan this. Four. Oh, yeah, move your head. Hashtags on your face. Oh, good work. Good, Quadru really good work. Quadruple photo bomb or video bomb. I love this one. This guy. You're not in the oh, nosebleeds, man. Get out of there. You're sitting courtside. <laughs> yes, nosebleeds, pun intended. Lee's digging all the way to oh, the top. Pick and roll man. on that one. At number four, you got Chris Anderson going to the stands. The first violation involving a fan. A delay of game called on this play because he had to give the ball to a fan there. Could have been doing a little flirting. Ah, oh, yes, he was. Check the eight cares. He's still in it. He was He's flirting. Delay of game. It, was, it was worth it. That's right. Number three, look, we don't miss anything. OK, man? <laughs> You're on camera. You're standing right there by the coach. They show him a lot of times. Just wait to do that. That's the disgusting. For cocky. Number, Number two. Yeah, man, back in here for a free throw, rubbing on his nipple. Good luck <laughs> shooting a shot with that in your face. You know, must have missed. And then number one, we love this one. Cavs pregame broadcast. This woman, I, she doesn't Ooh. know where she is. Accidentally walks into frame. Ah, uh, Grandma. If you notice, the beer is already half drunk, so she's a little tipsy, maybe. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reese Waters from Bleacher Report. The Indiana Pacers are out to the league's best start, thanks in large part to a dominant defense in a world where nobody plays any. Let's see what all the cool kids are doing. Everybody loves James Harden, especially the other team. Looks more lost than this season of Homeland. Hashtag, where's the D? Michael Jordan was known for his defense, but there's no defense for him butchering this game of beer pong. You know your elbows are supposed to go past that ledge. That's a party foul. And whose defense was really down this week is Russell Westbrook, especially when his agent called him and said, hey, my man, you want to make a couple bucks? The only person I can help him now is Ernie Johnson. Hey, Ernie, can you get my man some clothes? Now you're ready to make some money. Hashtag, where's the deal? Shaq and Fu. What, kidding? He's Shaq and Fu. What is it, Chuck? He's Shaq and Fu. What, what? This Shaq and Fu. Sky. <laughs> Number one, Andrea Bargnani. Um, great defense here by Bargnani, but why is he jumping? Oh, yeah, what is he doing? <laughs> what are you jumping at, man? <laughs> Good D, good D. Way to, way to really discourage the shooter. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, Number two. Cool points. Iman Shumper tries to win an Oscar for best actor. Just wait for the replay. Oh, wow. He's, he wait really elbowed. Replay. 
No. He's in the new <laughs> RoboCop. He's in the new Robo RoboCop. Are you kidding me? You're ready for five kids. Number three, Joe Keem Noah. There is one reason and one reason only why Kirk Hunt oh. wears goggles. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that actually was a good pass. That's Kurt Hybrid. Oh, Come on, he only hit him in the head. It, it? He, only, he only threw it 100 miles an hour. He's only two feet away. <laughs> exactly. Number four, uh -oh. gross heat fan. Uh -oh. If you don't have a toothbrush, uh -oh. there's always plan B. Use uh -oh. your what are finger. You doing, oh, man. Man. oh, Come on. Man. Man. You, that's why I never gave fans high fives on the way out. Brush your teeth. I never gave fans high fives. Come on, man. And number five, Joey Crawford. Joey Crawford hates the 76ers mop boy. What is he talking to? Now he's gone? Yo, get your... <laughs> get your... Get your... Give him a little time, Joey. Throw him out the game, Joey. Oh, man. Come on, Joey. Come Throw him out the game, Joey. Oh, no. You're me, Joey. <laughs> Come on, man. He blew a whistle to... <laughs> oh, yeah, you oh, got man. Man. You gotta know who your officials are that night. You gotta know. JaVale, where are you? Oh, that was Joey. I love Calling him. JaVale McGee. Both Calling JaVale McGee. Where are you? At NBA.com slash be back. school. Oh, and if first game back, he'll be back. If you... Number five. Xavier Zavia uh, in the elevates and throws down versus the Lakers. Uh, Xavier Henry. And he looks at Chris Paul. Good. Who'd you call him? He called I don't him know his name. Henry Xavier. I don't know what Xavier Henry, Henry, but that was not. I don't good. know what his mama named him. I'm just yeah. reading from the Xavier paper. Henry. Xavier Henry. Chris Paul knows oh, wow. now. What does it say on there? I'm going to show Kenny. <laughs> oh, they messed up. What's that say, Kenny? Uh, it says Xavier. Listen, but it's Xavier. I don't care wh what you say. X A V I R is, uh, is Xavier. <laughs> Still get in there. Xavier University, Xavier McDaniel's. It's yeah. number body, one. Body. Xavier Henry oh, baptizes oh, yeah, his yeah, one-time yeah, 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 Kansas oh. teammate uh, Jeff Whitey. Oh. Jeff oh, Whitey. What's his name? Why you Jeff Whitey. Why are you trying to take the charge? That's what it said. Oh, I'm it's sorry. With, 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 with Jeff with <laughs> it. Excuse me, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff with the. <laughs> Jeff with the. With the Whitey. Dot com. Check that out too. Uh, what's it? Yeah, what, what is, is that thing, Shaq? What is that? It looks like a locator. That thing almost hit me in the head. Yeah. Oh, I got stuck? Yeah, I got stuck. That's OK. I wish it hit me in the head. I'll Watch see this. You. Watch this. Acrobatic man. Yeah. Oh, are oh, you serious? No, man, I'm serious. Oh, uh, y'all let him climb on this wall? Yes, man. Y'all are out of your mind yeah. letting him climb up there. Yeah, look at that. That whole uh, thing could have fell. got it. Fell to fall. Does this ever end? Oh, if it would have, man, if that would have fell, that would have been so fall. funny. It would have oh, been hilarious. hilarious. That would have been hilarious, man. We wouldn't be doing this show. Oh. oh do it again, then. Oh. oh. 1950. That's that, my cousin, that, Ronnie. Oh, there you go. Up, That's what all the excitement is about right there. The season really never stops for us. You know, we take a couple weeks off after you're done playing to rest your body, but there's always something you can continue to do in the summer to make sure you're preparing for that next year. At the start of every offseason, we sit down and just talk about different things that he wants to work on. Toss and tap. Get it, get it, get it, get it, That's it. It's tough. This is one of the harder workouts that we do when it comes to strength and agility and, and footwork and, and core. And go. That's it, Steph. Outstanding. Evan McHale yes. is, your, is your toughest guy. Yes. And here you are taking on Kevin McHale and taking him down low. Way to post up, Chuck. Thank you, man. That's tying a, the game against, the, Phil, against the Boston Celtics. Look at you. I'm getting there, baby. I'm Look getting where I want to get to. Jump hook. Jump hook on the death. Yeah. yeah. Let's jump hook on the death. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, Jimmy Rogers. <laughs> you see? I mean, Roger. Uh, yes. But then this happened. Chuck and Larry Bird. Oh. Oh, I went oh, for the steal. Bird, I went for the steal. This is a game winner. I remember this play. That's oh, a yeah. game winner. Oh, Dummy. Gosh. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. This can't. Uh, oh, was... Look at him, Larry Bird. Check. Look at him. Uh, Why won't you just stay and play solid D? Put your hand up in his face. I'm scared. I'm going to give Larry Bird the greatest shooter in basketball history.